No, but we're kind of we're gonna kind of make it live. Oh God! This is it. This is it. Roll. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joey Joe Wheels. We're at Burkhart's tonight. I'm with my friend Cassandra. Hi. Um, we're hanging out. We're about to pick the winner for the vacation for two to Fire Mountain, but we're going to do it Woo! after the show. Woo! -hoo! So you guys have a lot of drinking to do to buy those tickets. Good luck. Here's the show. That was cool, you kicked me. Did I? Yeah. I'm stay on this side. Year in high style. She's had a very successful run this year. She is an Atlanta resident. She has performed on A&E Live by Request with Mr. Willie Nelson this year. They've rerun that, what, 200 times now? Yeah, count those checks. Uh, she has also been on Late Night with David Letterman just a little while back. She is on two duets with Willie Nelson on his brand new CD called Milk Cow Blues. She also has her own CD called Shades of Blue on the Platinum Records label. And tonight she is here to tell you about her brand new seasonal release called Here Comes Franny Claus. It's a brand new Christmas holiday CD that she's got out. We've got a couple of originals on here, plus go tell it on the mountain and have yourself a merry little Christmas. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Give this woman some love, Miss Francine Reed. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, and happy holidays, everybody. I'm going to do a song that is the first song on the CD, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And I left some down here. They're real cheap. I mean, eight or four songs on there. But you, you know, it may be a great last minute gift or a great stocking stuff for one of your friends or one of your loved ones or one of your relatives or for somebody you hate. And that way they'll like you. This song is called Christmas Day. Put that cell phone away. I just want to see how you look by the tree this Christmas day. It's time. 
Okay, that's the show. We're here with the Magic Bottle King. I'm sorry, we'll start there. Can you hear me? Am I on? Yeah, you're on. I'm on? Okay. Let's do that again. Okay, that's the show. I'm here with Patrick Smith, our favorite bartender who's been hooking us up the whole time. And he's going to do our drawing for us for the winter. A trip for two to a weekend or three days anytime at Fire Mountain in the Highlands. It's an incredible resort. I'm here with Cassandra. And I've heard it's gay friendly. It is gay friendly. We lucked out because we just saw Francine Reed yes, in the other room. She great. just appeared out of nowhere and we gave lucky. us an incredible performance. Francine, woo! We love you! Woo! Okay. Can I have a drum roll, please? Anybody? Patrick, insert your hand. And the winner of Pop TV Atlanta is. Three, two, nine, one, four, seven. Three, two, nine, one, four, seven. Three, two, nine, one, four, seven. Now we have to okay. keep in mind that these raffle tickets have been distributed for the past three weeks, and the winner may not necessarily be present. Right. So you have. Is it boxed? You have two weeks. <laughs> you have two weeks to get in touch with us with your winning ticket number. Now you want to visit our website at www.outtvatlanta.com. And into the feedback section, click that and write me an email and say, hey, I've got the ticket. Give me a call. Or I like the show. Oh, yeah, I like the show. And don't hesitate to join us at Burkhart's this Sunday for the Atlanta premiere of Queer as Folk Queer as on Folk. Showtime. You can only Burkhart's see it here. Burkhart's official Queer as Folk bar in Atlanta. You can't see it anywhere else unless you have Showtime at and home. And we're all Queer as Folk. I we, sure, we sure as hell are. Okay. Good grief. Thanks. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Don Haddon, you're the uh, Aid Atlanta Annual Fund Manager. That's correct. Tell us about this fifth annual Shopping for Life and how it works. Well, um, tomorrow's December the 2nd, um, our fifth Shopping for Life. Let's stop there. I'm the Annual uh, Fund Manager for Aid Atlanta. Uh, we're into the uh, fifth annual uh, Shopping for Life, Don. How does that work? Well, on Saturday, we have over 50 merchants in the Atlanta area who have agreed to display the Shopping for Life sign and to give 5% of the proceeds from all of their sales that day to Aid Atlanta. And uh, how many merchants are involved? Uh, there's over 50 this year. And uh, what did you have a goal, a, a money goal? Last year we raised $75,000 and of course we hope to bypass that amount. It's uh, really difficult to tell though because a lot of things factor in such as weather, uh, shopping habits and that kind of thing. I know it's too late for this year, but how does a merchant normally sign up for this and what is their commitment? Well, uh, they display the uh, sign in their window and uh, again give the 5% uh, to us and we can contact them if anyone is interested uh, in doing this for next year. We can go ahead and put them on our list if they would like to call the offices here. Uh, one thing that is important is that when we approach these merchants, we're, we're also raising awareness for the community because when we talk with them, uh, they make a conscious decision that they're going to support AIDS and support this community. And so it's really a, an awareness building. And we have a lot of the merchants who participate in this each year who come back to us and say that they had many people come in who even didn't buy, even though they didn't buy anything, uh, told them that they were glad that they were supporting the cause and uh, really wanted to support them in the future for, for more business. So give us your website so people can go there and get all the information. At www.aidatlanta.org, uh, people can log on and for the entire month of December, uh, can uh, the purchases from that website will go to Aid Atlanta. There will be 15% uh, contributed to Aid Atlanta. Now you have some special relationships. Uh, Bell Mobility is one. Bell South Mobility is one of our sponsors this year, and they will be providing uh, for each uh, digital phone 
connection that they activate tomorrow, they will contribute $5 to Aid Atlanta. And then you've got CauseLink. They have a special relationship? Yeah, CauseLink is the group uh, that's providing the online services for our shopping online at www.aidatlanta.org. And again, they're providing for the month of December the 15% uh, from their sales each day, and then this Saturday an additional 5%. And then one of your other biggest sponsors is Kroger. How does that work? Absolutely. Kroger has been with us for several years, and we have a commitment card that's available here through 8 Atlanta. Just call us here, and uh, we can provide you with a commitment card that's swiped at the time of purchase. A percentage of your gro groceries go directly to 8 Atlanta. Um, we're going to cut it there, but I want to ask you another question. You know, if you don't know the answer, you can just tell us. So you, you – oh. That's all right. You want to catch that there? No, that's all right. No, go ahead. Do, do your other stuff. Uh, you go ahead and talk for a minute. I'm not going to, because he needs to get, just pretend like you're talking. Okay. Just talk about anything. Okay. About the Shopping for Life tomorrow, I hope you all are going to go out and support us as well. Um, you know, one thing that's going to be going on is that we have the, uh, over at uh, the west side of town, over off Howell Mill, where all the shops have gone in there, where the new restaurant's gone in, and uh, Belvedere and Namas no Productions, right. they're having a, uh, tomorrow they're having like a carnival thing over there that's going to really promote a lot of business for them over there. So they should have uh, a, like a record crowd there tomorrow. Good. The next week or two. There was some announcement about your new uh, HIV negative campaign. Do you know about that one? No, I don't. Okay. Know. Well, I, I thought it was out of your character, I think. You know, can I get the sign real quick? Because, uh, yeah, just hold it. You, you don't want me there. No, just, that's great. You get the all in all you have a reflection on that one behind? Are you all right? And uh, I want to ask uh, two questions about and And principally, talk to me. Okay. okay. Uh, Molly Daughtry from uh, Positive Impact. Uh, you're the risk coordinator, risk management coordinator. Risk reduction coordinator. Risk. Okay. We'll, we'll okay. cut in there. Think, okay. Speak this thing. And I am very tired mm. today, guys. So That's all right. Uh, we're with Molly Daughtry, of the Risk Reduction Coordinator for Positive Impact. First of all, Molly, what is uh, Positive Impact? What's the organization about? Um, Positive Impact is an organization that has been providing mental health services to the HIV-infected and affected community um, since April of 1996, I believe, and um, sort of spun off as a need for mental health services specifically for people who didn't have resources. Um, who were living with AIDS, um, going through, as you know, earlier in the epidemic, a lot of people facing uh, the potential of death and dying, and um, started doing individual counseling services and providing family services, couples counseling, um, 
primarily just targeting infected folks. And we've expanded that some today to include more prevention within the work that we're doing and also targeting more affected populations today, too. And is this just an Atlanta operation or are you nas national in scope? We're in the Atlanta area. We provide services for any people within this given region here uh, who just don't have resources. The only criteria here is that you meet the income criteria, which is less than a certain amount of money, and that you can prove that you are HIV positive and are affected, a member, a family member, or a partner, or whatever. So the criteria is pretty loose for that, but primarily we target people that just don't have any other resources to make sure that they can get their mental health needs met. Well, this is World AIDS Day, and your theme is Gratitude and Remembrance. So what, yes. what's today about? Um, I think a lot of nostalgia and reflecting on the epidemic, how it's affected us worldwide, how it's affected us um, globally as well as nationally and as well as locally, too. And uh, our services today covered a lot of that um, from uh, the last... Uh, since 1980 and what has transpired. Uh, did a, a history around that. Um, I think the gratitude is today that, you know, uh, we're further along in the epidemic. There, there's no cure. We know that. But people are living longer, and that's a blessing. And what we are doing today is trying to have some gratitude for those that have gone before us, for those that are with us now, and for the future of where we're going. So just who were the participants, staff and um, people actually affected, or who? Well, we had a lot of folks within the community. We did a workshop today, so we had a lot of folks from a lot of the other aid service organizations here. We had a lot of folks from uh, collaborative organizations that we work with within the given community. We had a lot of uh, participants here within the, uh, the, the clergy of the community, Atlanta Interfaith. Uh, had a lot of representatives here. Of course, the staff, and we have a big internship program. We have a lot of volunteers. A lot of those people were here with us today. And just the community in general. We had a lot of people that uh, were clients that were here today too. So uh, pretty much collectively what our community looks like, what we work with and who we work with day in and day out. So if there's someone, say, for example, who knows Aid Atlanta, they might refer someone who needs counseling on mental health issues to you? Exactly. Um, Aid Atlanta does the, the majority of the case management. That is helping people resource and access what they need in different areas. And they have mental health folks at Aid Atlanta who will maybe do the initial screens and then they will call us and say we've got someone here that needs to do some counseling or may need a specific group or they may need risk reduction, they may be at high risk for uh, reinfection or infection and we want to refer them to you and we have our procedures in place where we take the phone call, uh, get that person lined up with someone, do the intake and then get them into our services. So is today a certain numbered World's Aid Day? I mean, Does it have a chronological number? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not clear what you question. Just that is like the the tenth or the twentieth or the fiftieth World AIDS Day. Uh, when when did it start? You know. You know I. That's right. I don't we'll have the specific history we'll, around that. We'll, we'll find that yeah. out. We'll pick that up. Okay. Um, anything else you'd like to talk about? Um, the importance of this kind of organization in the mix of Atlanta AIDS groups. I, I just think that it's important for people to know that that there's help for them around mental health issues because even though people are living longer that presents a whole nother set of problems for some folks um, still a lot of anxiety a lot of depression um, a lot of comorbidity with um, substance abuse with just mental health issues for some folks initially and you know to let people know that there, there are services available to them um, we collaborate with a lot of other agencies here. We want to collectively try to give people the most support we can so that it's not only the quantity of their life, but the quality of their life. And, it, and, and if there's anything going on that they need some support around that, improving and having more, we want to be there for you them. you have a website? Um, yes, we do. And what it is? I think, I think it's... <laughs> we'll we'll, put, I, it, we'll I, put it up regardless. I think it's Positive Impact at AOL. We, we'll, we changed over, so I'm We'll check it, sure and we'll run that yeah. as a super. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. That's good. Stay right there now. He's just going to walk around and pretend like you're answering a question. We're going to see your mouth doing this. And I'm going to be going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Rob, you could also give me a... What? I'm and out. It's not the best side here now. 
You, oh, you want to do it just right here? Sure. You say, you know, since you're here with him, we'll cut back to that. Okay. Uh, this is Rob Martin of IoTV Atlanta, and we're with, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me try it again. <laughs> Got it. This is Rob Martin at IoTV Atlanta, and we're with Molly Daughtry, who is the AIDS Reduction Coordinator for Positive Impact. Molly, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you Just for talk. having me. Go yeah. ahead and talk. Um, appreciate you being here and uh, yeah, give, cool. giving us some information. Can I say anything I want to mm -hmm. say? Yes. Got that microphone in my mouth again. That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. Good. I hope this turns out well. Hope you guys are having a good I'm day look here too. Right. Okay. Hope you guys are having a good day here too, and I hope you got something good to eat. There's really good food in there. Good. Thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, let me just do it. Thank you. Uh, this has been a nice visit with Molly Daughtry, who is the AIDS Reduction Coordinator for Positive Impact. And thanks, Molly. And this is Rob Martin for ITV Atlanta. We need uh, some music. Of course, we got the, the men's chorus for the next week's show. But we haven't spent enough time with this group. This, um, it's a new magazine just came out. It's from some of the great thinkers of our time, mm -hmm. just um, about different issues, where our movement is, where we're going with the movement, images on TV and music, other things. do is uh, did you know a little did you know segment all the AIDS organizations are now 159 Rockmobile Boulevard that's between Piedmont and Portland and 